On this RV decor video, I'm going to show you how I took these Turkish towels and made curtains for our camper. Keep watching. I wanted to show you a few options that you can do on curtains in your camper. What I have here is painter tarps. I have two different kinds because, uh, well, when I redid this link up here, I ruined the curtains because I was trying to make them wider. It takes one painter's tarp to do one window. And on this option, you will have to know how to sew because, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down, you will need to cut them in half and do a pocket rod at the top. All you have to sew is a straight line though. So that's not too bad. They do have seam tape, but I feel like it might not work as good as sewing up here just because we move our curtains closed and open a lot. And I feel like that the seam tape might eventually pull apart, but I've never had a problem with the sewed hem. But this is one option is painter tarps. And I, I'm telling you, I just think these are so pretty and I'll link these in the description box below so that you, if this is an option that you want, you can do that. The only problem that I don't like about these anymore is they do not match my balances anymore. When I had the brown balances, they looked good, but these, they're kind of like an off-white cream color. And I didn't think about that when I bought my balance fabric. I just fell in love with this fabric and I was like, oh, that's what I want. And then after I put them up, I'm like, oh, they don't match the curtains. So I bought Turkish tiles to put up. Now I'm going to show you a few different ways. I'm going to show you some no sew options and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to do these. This is your no sew option. It is going to cost you a little more because it's going to require you to buy two towels per window. This here is just folded in half and then I have rod clips put up on the top and then they just slide on a tension rod that I have stuck up inside the balance. So this is option one. Do this, no sew, and done. On this option over here, it has the fringe up at the top and to get the fringe up at the top, you will take your Turkish towel and fold it down how far you want that to hang down and then to get the right length, grab down to fold it up a little higher to make it and then make it the right length that you need. So you will basically have like a little loop in it right here. And then that way you can have the little fringe and do it that way. Now that way is going to require you to do two towels per window. The way that I'm going to do it, I'm going to cut my towels in half just sew a small rod pocket in the top, exactly how I did the tarps. Now I have a couple of windows that are longer and they're really, the length of them needs to be the full half of the towel. So see how this one here doesn't need to be the full length of the towel and I'll be cutting out a big section of it. And then I will use that section that I cut out to make a pocket in the other ones and I'll kind of show you as I'm sewing. And I'm gonna start with my short windows and do all those first, and then do the tall ones last because I need the extra fabric that I have off of these for my long ones. I need 28 inch length curtains here, and I'm gonna add two inches to make my rod pocket at the top, so that way it slides on and off. So these here are gonna end up being 30 inches long. Yours might be different, but basically I'm just measuring from right here is where the tension rod is and it's showing that these curtains are 28 inches long and then I'll add two inches for the rod pocket. So that's 30 inches that I need to cut my curtains down to and then that will leave me a two inch strip for the other windows. And I have several of the windows that are gonna be this length. Also, I have this little window over here. So I will have a lot of left fab leftover fabric from this particular window as well. The one above the stove is 17 inches, so I need to cut it to 19 inches. So what I'm gonna do is I've got mine laid out here. I measure, I don't include my fringe in this measurement. The fringe I want to hang down past. I'm doing, it's 19 inches. 
So I have my line here. I'm gonna cut at 19 inches all the way across. All right, I've got cut that to 19 inches. I want a two inch folded over. So I'm folding this over two inches and I'm pinning it. And then that's where I'm gonna sew all the way across. I have it pinned over. And on the ends, I do a little backup stitch on there just to make sure. And there's my curtain. I have the perfect rod pocket for the top of my tension rod. I'm not gonna bore you with repeating that like 10, 12 more times. And another real quick thing, I took some sticky notes and I'm writing where this curtain goes as I stack them up because there's a bunch of them that are not but like an inch or two difference between the other ones and they can get confusing. So I'm gonna mark where each one goes. So when we get to the camper, I just lay it over there and I know where it's at. On the double windows, I just thought about this. I showed you how to do the one above the stove, which was just one. Just fold your towels in half. Make sure it's even across the bottom. Measure up your height and then cut both of them at the same time so you have two panels that are the exact same size for each window. I originally ordered a few different Turkish towels to see which color I liked. And then I went with this gray. I ordered the rest of them and they all came in. Well, for some reason, I had forgot about the window above the stove. So I didn't order one for that. And then I had somehow missed another window. So I was too short. So I had to reorder two more. And it wasn't like a week later. I was gonna show you, be careful. If you don't order all you need at one time, they can be two different colors because I have two different colors. It's not like a huge noticeable difference, but it is a difference. So I ended up, when I noticed it when I started cutting them and putting them together. So I opted the two of them that were totally different to put them on each side of the sofa because you're gonna be looking at it from an angle. So those typically look a little bit different anyway because of the light change. That way those two are the different colored ones and they match and then the rest of them match. But I had already cut it before I realized that it was different. Otherwise, I probably would have ordered two more <laughs> to see if I could get the lighter gray ones. Oh well. But I just wanted to warn you and update you on that. So to do these, I have these strips left over and they're two inches, which is what I've been folding over. So I'm gonna take this strip and cut it in half. And then I have enough for both panels. And then I will lay this on top of here. And then I will run a seam all the way across the top and a seam all the way across the bottom to make this rod pocket. And that's it. I just sewed both of those and now I have a rod pocket on the top of these. And this will be hidden up under the balance so you'll never see it. Got all my curtains sewed. Now let's put them up. I'll keep these. I'm not going to throw them away. I'll use them for fabric around the house for different projects. Well, there they are. I like they look great. I like the gray instead of having the off-white. All right, I'm gonna finish putting all of them up and then we will come back and look at them. They are turning out great. I love how cute they are. I'm happy with what they look like. I was thinking about getting some kind of a tie and then tying them up like this and they would look cute. I have got all the curtains hung. The only ones that I'm not like 100% sold with are these. They ended up still being too short. I'm not sure quite like it shouldn't be, but they are. But they do have the tassels on them and if they were longer, they would pile up on top of the counter. So I think it's gonna work, but I'm gonna have to live with it a few weeks and just see if that bothers me or if I get used to them. These were super easy to do. All I had to do was run a hem at the top of all of them, except for this curtain and this curtain. Those I did have to make a pocket for the top, 
but these were super easy to make and I know that you could do them. Also, gave you a few options that you could do with these that you wouldn't even have to sew unless you wanted to. A couple of more things that I was going to suggest or say is you can make some cute tie backs and put them on here. I think that would be super cute to do and I still may do that. I've said in videos before, when it comes to decor in your camper, it's always evolving. It may not be exactly what you want and you may change it a few times. Eventually you'll figure out what you want and what do you want it to look like. One thing I like about these is if you wanted privacy, you can close them, but you can still get the light through where when you pull down your blinds, that just blacks it out and makes it all dark. I will link everything that I've used in this video in the description box. It will be an affiliate link that helps support our channel because what I've been doing, the money that I've been making off of Amazon, I have been taking that and what we've been making off of YouTube and just putting it back into buying more products to make more videos about. I'm still probably behind, but don't tell Bill. Let me know in the comments below what you think about my new curtains. Till next time, like and subscribe.